Hello my friend, it is I, Vadim. How are you doing? In this video, you will find out about the upcoming i9 11900K and i7 11700K Intel 11th generation desktop processors that are called Rocket Lake. I will talk about the specs, performance, release date and pricing. I grouped these CPUs in one video because essentially they're almost the same, so it makes sense to compare them side by side. Let's begin with Intel's new flagship i9-11900K. It will feature 8 cores and 16 threads with 16 MB of L3 cache. Base core clock is 3.5 GHz, all core boost 4.8 GHz and one core boost is 5.3 GHz. TDP is 125 watts. Now i7 11700K. It also has 8 cores and 16 threads with 16 megabytes of L3 cache. However, core clocks are a bit different. Base core clock is 3.6 GHz, all core boost 4.6 GHz and one core boost is 5 GHz. TDP is also 125 watts. Do you see what I mean? They have similar specs. The only advantage i9 has over i7 are slightly higher boost clocks. How much does it matter in real life performance and how do these processors compare to AMD Ryzen 5000 series? Thanks to the latest leak, I can show you CPU-Z benchmark scores that will provide the answer to this question. Stock 11900K is now the king of the single core performance with 695 points. There is also a result with all cores overclocked to 5.2 GHz increasing the performance by 11 points. 11700K scored 673 points. For comparison, Ryzen 7 5800X is sitting at 663. If these leaks are legit, which I think they are, then Intel has taken back the single core performance crown. But it is only half of the story. Take a look at the multi-core results. Here Intel is behind AMD when we compare 8 core CPUs. I would like to point out how small the performance gap is between i7 and i9 processors. It leads me to believe that i7 will be the new favorite among Intel customers, because you will be getting almost the same performance for a lower price. And you can close that gap further by applying a quick overclock to i7. 11700K also appears on Geekbench. Here is a comparison versus Ryzen 7 5800X. It will be interesting to see how well the new Intel CPUs will perform in games. I think that they will be able to trade blows with AMD. But it is also important to note that Intel is still using 14 nanometer node to manufacture these processors, which means that they are achieving these results while using a lot more energy than the competition. When can we expect the release? Intel are working hard to launch Rocket Lake at the end of March. However, delays are possible during these uncertain times. Currently, there is no information about the price, but I don't think that Intel will undercut AMD. So, don't expect Intel CPUs to be cheap or Ryzen to become more affordable. At least not anytime soon. Which CPU are you planning to buy this year? Let me know in the comments below. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.